it's time for another ID certification review. This is a little late as I achieved this certification around October of 2020. In this video, we will talk about Cisco Certified DevNet Specialist Core or the Dev Core exam, one of the top DevOps certification in the industry. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host. My name is Dean Armada and I am your career and certification captain. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certification, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. We've already talked about DevNet Associate Certification and Exam. So if you haven't seen the video, kindly check the link in the description below. So DevCore is just a higher or more advanced level exam. This serves as a prerequisite if you're rooting for DevNet Professional or DevNet Expert level certifications. If you're going for Cisco Certified DevNet Professional, you need to pass another exam. This is what we call concentration exams. And this depends on which area you are specializing in regards to DevNet solutions. It can be security, it can be data center, enterprise, internet of things, and many more. If you're going for Cisco Certified DevNet Expert, you need to book and pass DevNet Expert Lab exam. Yes, it's already available. Now, this is the funniest exam that I ever experienced in my entire IT career. I was so overconfident, I thought it was just like Devasi. It's just a little more advanced, right? Um, I was like, I can pass this exam. Oh, I passed Devasi with flying colors, and now I can do it even not having enough preparation. And during the exam, I was almost crying. I saw lots of APIs, XML, Python examples, lots of DevOps tools, and very advanced questions. And no kidding, I knew I was gonna fail the exam. I was already preparing for an excuse why I failed this exam to the train company I was working with. Uh, because I know they don't reimburse a failed exam result. And uh, it was 400 US dollars. And 400 US dollars is still 400 US dollars. So I answered most of the questions with a logical yes. I know how to code, but I'm not a big fan of exam questions with codes. Um, so I finished the exam after a couple of hours. I can't believe that I passed. I was laughing so hard because when you take an exam, you will have an idea if you're gonna pass or fail or so-so. Fortunately, I passed even if I knew I was gonna fail. And the score was very close to failing mark. So that's how you save 400 US dollars. Preparation time. I only prepared for two weeks. This is right after passing the ASC exam. Why? Because I was overly confident. I thought it was like Encore covers at least 70% CCNA. I was so wrong. I didn't realize it was way more advanced than expected. I would suggest to allocate at least two months of dedicated preparation because you need to feed your brains with lots of information. Uh, there are more GitHubs, more containers, Docker, and Kubernetes, DevOps tools, more Linux, obviously, uh, more Ansible, more Python, more applications such as web, database, uh, mobile, and uh, the most difficult part is the different kinds of APIs, and they are more advanced. Uh, one more, they added more security as well. Resources. The only resource I use in preparation for this exam is the instructor materials. It's just one of the perks of being a CCSI. 
We have reading guides, we have video training recordings, and lab access. For you guys, the official guide would be available around June of 2022. The cost of this exam, 350 901, is 400 US dollars. The length is 120 minutes or 2 hours. And the passing score is between 750 to 850 out of 1000. The exam consists of roughly 100 questions. So, what would benefit you if you obtain this certification? Okay, and pass DevCore exam. I would say it's the same as DevNet Associate, but this time it's more advanced level. So for companies who are serious in automating their networks or who are already running DevOps and planning to include more network operations, they really need this level of expertise. It's more of a niche. Still not too many companies are looking for this kind or, or this level of expertise. But if they do, you could demand more money. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification. The ratings that I will give is just for now. It may change in the future. And the reason why it would be a little low because not too many companies are ready for this level of DevNet solution. Exam content. I will give it 4.5. It's just too many, too broad, and too advanced really. I don't think you will really use one third or over one third or 33% of the solution in a production environment based from the exam contents. Um, for example, UCS XML API. It's been available for a decade already. I don't think companies is using it at all. Another example is Puppet and Chef. I don't think it's a good idea in DevNet or network automation solution because we have better options such as Python, Ansible, or just simply use SDN. Next is relevance to current technology. This one, I will give it five. All of the giant companies, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, all using DevOps, SDN, and network automation. Next, value for money. This time, I will give it four. This is the reason. If I want to automate something, I would go for a specific technology. For example, if I want to automate security, I would go for S auto course and certification. Okay, automate data center networks. I will go for DC auto course and certification. If you want to go for SDN or ACI, you should go for DC ACI. Okay, I don't think a company will suddenly decide, oh, let's automate everything. Enterprise, wireless, voice and video, data centers, and under data centers, we have servers, switches, storage, and many more. And here's the worst part. Have you ever imagined to automate all security appliances? Okay, next generation firewall, VPNs, IPS, DNS, email, web security, everything. So automating everything, not just automating, but also orchestrating everything is very unlikely. The only reason I'm giving it four, not three, not 3.5, because it's still a core exam and it will renew all of your Cisco certifications, including CCIE. Next is market demand. I will give it 4.5. Like what I mentioned, there is a niche. And I believe in the future, companies will go for more advanced DevNet solution. But for now, still not too many companies looking for this certification. Do you agree with my ratings?